Hi, today's movie is the 1960 West German horror film Horrors of Spider Island. With a title like that, it's got to be promising. Let's check it out. They're coming on strong with a sexy saxophone right from the start. <laughs> I got an idea where this is headed. Here we go. And look at the pictures on the wall. Population approximately 550,000. <laughs> and that's subtle. Shipbuilding port and seaport. Doesn't yeah. it say anything about the 32 nights? That's him now. <laughs> That suit looks padded. Hi. Hi. I've already been to Singapore. And you look like it. Oh, dear. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Webster would like to look at your legs. Oh, sure. Thank you. You're hired. Please wait outside. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Not bothered if she can dance or not. You want to say that? And this is Rhonda Hunter. All right, you can work with us as long as you don't have any affairs. Mr. Webster doesn't tolerate <laughs> any fooling around. I had all the boys I can take. Come on, Carolyn. Wouldn't you think they'd hold dance auditions in a dance studio? So we're eight minutes in, and so far there's You're been an hired. awful lot of upskirting. I do hope there's more to this film than upskirting and cheesecake. I do want more from more than that from horror films. We're 9,000 feet, losing altitude. Number two engine burning. Drop feathered, attempting emergency landing. Present position is... So I'm guessing when they get onto the island, all their clothes are just going to be shredded to rags. Damn, I can't make it up. <laughs> There's absolutely no reason yet to fear the worst. Until now, we only know that the plane caught fire and that we've lost radio contact. <laughs> the plane caught fire. There's no need to yeah. fear the yeah, worst. Yeah, I'll let you know immediately. As soon as... <laughs> Stop that falling. You're driving us all nuts. <laughs> What about the lifeboat full of 30 women and the man's automatically the boss of everyone? <laughs> Why are all the women unconscious and he's just running around like nothing's happened? Yeah. Must be because women are so weak and feeble, I guess. <laughs> Even though they're all professional dancers. Sexy saxophone. Another opportunity to get women in wet costumes, I guess. Okay, girls, that's enough. Let's go and have a look around. Come on, come on, come on. I see the boss of everyone. Don't tell me when I've had enough to drink, Gary. <laughs> I've been adrift in a boat for four days after a plane crash. <laughs> They're entitled to have a shower and a drink. A hammer. There must be someone on this island. Really? A hammer with a long handle. It must be for the purpose of excavating some sort of metal. Most probably uranium. <laughs> yeah. That's awfully specific. Come on, let's go and find out. <laughs> Who else would deduce that from finding a hammer on the ground? Ooh. A dead man in a huge web. <laughs> Thanks for explaining. Oh, oh, the poor professor when he made the last dance. Yeah. Horrors of Upskirt Island. Cat fight? Now stop it or I'll take care of both of you. <laughs> Give me something to drink, though. Mm. <laughs> I own take pleasure. it easy, Gary. Stop blowing your top and dry up, will you? Mm. 
It's going to be some cat fighting. I can feel it. I simply can't stand this frightful heat any longer. I've had to take all my clothes off. Come on. Come on, girls. Let's go to sleep. I'm going to sleep outside. Nice. Me too. Good night. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I want horror. I don't want women having showers. This is not what I'm here for. Those are some high pants. I found the professor's revolver. Oh, Gary. <laughs> Sexy saxophones going into overdrive. Worst slapping acting ever. Oh, here's the spider, finally! Some spider horror. Whoa! <laughs> I like the spider's claw hands. Come on, Gary deserves to get it. got a PhD and I wrote my doctoral thesis on uh, fiction that's set on dystopian islands. And put things in order while we're gone. <laughs> usually there's no women. This time it's all women, but usually there is some kind of monstrous transformation and Gary's right on track with that one. Hey, I'm Gary. not afraid when I whistle. Oh! What's a bet that the most sex positive woman is going to get killed off first? Of course. I heard a scream. Of course she was. I heard a plane move. <sighs> Even got to upskirt the dead body. That's classy. She's been strangled. The spider. <laughs> How did she make that Dad. connection? Oh, it's when the spiders strangle oh, George, people. The professor's been killed. Oh. Gary's disappeared and now we're Cat fight! Oh, it had to happen. You This is tedious. <laughs> and we only have enough food left for three days. Could try fishing. Anne! Anne! You could try foraging to see what edible plants are on the island. But I guess canned food is easier. So they've been on the island for 28 days, they've got three days of rations left before they starve and they decide to have a splash fight rather than looking for any food. And they haven't thought to look for food in the whole month. I was going to ask you for the time. So... 
So she's shipwrecked. She's just seen a man on the arrive on the island, and she doesn't ask him to help Georgia. them. She just makes out Georgia. with him. Okay. Georgia. Georgia. Here we are. Hands up. Hmm? Stop or I'll shoot. Hey, hello, baby. Hands up. Really? <laughs> Anything you wish. Get going into the cabin. A woman's pointing a gun at you and you grab her? Get going. <laughs> What's more natural than after surviving a plane crash and being wrecked on an island for a month with people disappearing and being killed? We should have an underwear party. Too much cheesecake, not enough spiders. Tell me. At this point, I just want the spider to come and kill them all. <laughs> this is really tedious. When you've lived on islands for a long time, you forget how to say nice things to girls. I don't think any of the books I researched for my thesis had underwear parties in them. Well, I'm really glad that your airplane crashed. Well, that's a nice thing to say. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Me a one. real man is interested in only one girl. Then I'm a... Then I'm a real man. How? Oh. One girl at a time, am I right? Because I'm really interested only in one girl. Oh, on with the killing, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think I'm getting sexy saxophone poisoning. <laughs> what adolescent boy wrote this film? Story. The magazines will carry your pictures, and what do you think oh my radio God. TV will do with you? Where's the spider? You'll be amazed at the reception you get back you in New York. Nothing is happening. In any case, you become a world famous troop and hmm. let her on. Who knows? They're all good for nothing. They're all the same. <laughs> He's a charmer. What are our dancers? Hot goods for cold nights. Or do you think your aunt is different? Hmm? <laughs> no, not here. Come on. Are they gonna fight or something else? See, when the women fight, it's supposed to be sexy, but when the men fight, I don't think it's supposed to be sexy. It's not sexy. I gotta run. I gotta date. Okay. <laughs> Why is everything okay again? Oh my god. This is just 99% filling and padding. 99% cheesecake filler and padding. You asked me that? Something's got to happen, surely. Apart from underwear parties. <laughs> Can't call the film Horrors of Spider Island and have no horror. Unless the horror is the horror of boredom. Great, so something's happened and we didn't even get to see it. So what's Gary been doing for the past month? That no one's seen him, and now he's suddenly emerged again. It's suddenly oh. night time? I thought it was daytime. Bug spray. You need bug spray. Or a shoe. You squish him with a shoe. Just finish it. <laughs> this is lame. Get on with it. Talk about an anti climax. <laughs> Could they draw it out or make it any more boring?
Thank God that's over. <laughs> well, the horrors of Spider Island. <laughs> I came into this expecting some B-grade horror, some cheesy, you know, mutant spider killing people, running around, you know, chasing killings. But really, this was just an hour and a quarter of sleazy perving on women, upskirting women in skimpy costumes, catfighting. If that is your bag, you would love the horrors of Spider Island. But I just wanted horror. I wanted horror, science fiction, <laughs> monsters. Now, if they'd called the film The Cheesecake Cuties of Upskirt Island, that would have been fine. But as it is, I feel like it's misleading and I feel very dissatisfied. We hardly saw the monstrous spider. We hardly saw Gary as the mutant spider person. There were hardly any killings. Things happened off screen. Most of it was just an underwear party. I guess ultimately I am not the audience that this film was intended for. That's fine. But if you're looking for some uh, cheesy B-grade science fiction horror, the Horrors of Spider Island is not it. The acting was ordinary, the script was boring, the direction was boring. It was long and boring. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you'll join me next time when I have a film that I could perhaps get a bit more excited about. I'll see you then. Bye.